Have you heard about the world's longest undersea tunnel? China, renowned for ambitious construction projects like the Great Wall and the world's largest building, plans to build the world's longest undersea tunnel. Chinese engineers may soon embark on another very ambitious project to improve communications in northeast China by digging deep under the Bohai Sea to build the world's longest underwater tunnel. A plan to build an underwater tunnel connecting Yantai, Shandong Province, and Dalian Liaoning Province has been submitted to the National Development and Reform Commission for approval. Bohai Strait Tunnel or Dalian Yantai Tunnel is an underwater tunnel project that connects Dalian in the Liaodong Peninsula to Yantai in the Shandong Peninsula via Bohai Strait. The official name of the project is the Bohai Strait Sea Traffic Way. Need for Construction of World's Longest Tunnel The project plan was first proposed in 1992 in Liaodong District to build a tunnel connecting Dalian and Lushun and to build a direct and fast crossing over Bohai through a combination of a tunnel and a bridge. In China's 14th, in China's 14th five-year plan, the project is included in Dalian and Yantai as part of the national infrastructure. Although the distance from Dalian to Yantai is only 101 miles, the journey between the port cities of Dalian and Yantai on both sides of the strait takes eight hours. A high-speed train moving through the new tunnel at a speed of 250 km per hour reduces the travel time between the two cities to 45 minutes. Lu Dadao of the Chinese Academy of Sciences said, the tunnel through Bohai will change vehicles in China, he said. Du Yan Liang of the China Institute of Technology said the tunnel would better connect the old industrial park in the northeast, the Bohai Economic Zone and the Yangtze River Delta. Since this idea was first proposed by Yantai Deputy Mayor Lu Xinhua in 1992, more than a decade of research was carried out. In 2011, the State Council requested more studies to create a tunnel as part of the Blue Economy Development Plan for the Shandong Peninsula. This was strategically important. In 2012, the State Council commissioned the China Institute of Technology to investigate. The National Plan for the 13th Five-Year Plan also included the preparation of projects. The Specialty of the Yantai Dalian Tunnel The 76-mile tunnel will be underwater at a depth of 56 miles, which is far superior to all previous attempts. The Channel Tunnel connecting England and France held the world record for the longest underwater passage for a long time, but is only 23.5 miles long. Meanwhile, Japan's Seiken Tunnel is 33.46 miles long, making it the longest underwater tunnel in the world currently. Abroad, the Gotthard Tunnel, which cuts through the Swiss Alps, won the title of the longest railway tunnel in the world when it opened in June. And the railway will be operational in December. Its length is 35.5 miles. The Bohai Strait Tunnel is likely to top them all. Impressive! but this project is not the longest tunnel in the world. This is credited to the Delaware Aqueduct, an 85-mile-long aqueduct built between 1939 and 1944. These canals transport more than 500 million gallons of water daily from four reservoirs in upstate New York to New York City and other counties. These tunnels supply about half of the city's drinking water. While the Bohai Road Tunnel plant is impressive, it doesn't claim all of its accolades as the world's longest tunnel. As it happens, Chinese engineers already have experience with underwater tunnels. The 3.8-mile-long Zhaozhou Bay Tunnel connecting Qingdao and Wangdao was completed in 2011, and the Xiamen Tunnel was completed in 2010. Those projects use one of the more common methods to build an underwater tunnel, the cut-and-cover method. This involves dredging a trench in the ocean floor and embedding sealed tube sections made from steel or concrete. After divers connect and seal the tube sections, the water is pumped out of the ensuing passage and the upper one half of the tube is protected with rock. This is how one of the big dig tunnels in Boston Harbor was constructed. The deepest point of the channel tunnel is 75 meters below sea level, while the Seiken Tunnel is 240 meters underwater. It is hard for Japanese engineers at a depth of 140 meters and 100 meters underwater. The project also consists of the dredging work, the drilling work, and other associated infrastructure, the setting up of safety systems and equipment, and the laying of railway tracks and electric power transmission lines. 
the Chinese Academy of Engineering has been appointed as a planner. Planning activities are currently ongoing. But its depth and extent are not the only problems. In addition, the tunnel must be planned around two major faults. Throughout modern Chinese history, the Tanglu and Zhangjiaku Penglai faults have been a source of chronic seismic activity. The most famous is the 1976 Tangshan earthquake, which killed between 250,000 and 650,000 people. But there were other earthquakes as well. Perhaps the most shocking historical earthquake for tunneling engineers was the 1969 magnitude 7.4 quake just below the bay. What exactly can be done about it? Li Sanzhong, a professor of ocean geology at China Maritime University, told Sunshen that the solution is simply to reinforce the walls of the tunnel so that they can withstand an earthquake of at least magnitude 8. Budget for Yantai Dalian Tunnel after the opening, the China Railway Corporation, the parent company of the world's largest construction company, will take the lead. Fortifying a huge underwater tunnel against the kinds of earthquakes that can fell whole skylines will be pricey. The provincial governments of Shandong and Liaoning are reportedly putting in a combined $16.3 billion, but the price is already more than what they can afford. These tunnels almost always go over budget. The Channel, Seiken, and the Big Dig are a few examples. The enormous cost of the tunnel made the situation a little uncomfortable. Angered by rising local government debt, the central government has called for restraint and stimulus spending. However, the Bohai Tunnel is not necessarily a luxury project created by the local authorities, although it is possible. Despite the urgent need to meet the GDP target, Economic development opportunities for local officials, especially those in areas like Liaoning, are few and far between. Connecting China's isolated green belts with China's trade and logistics routes could spread wealth beyond China's affluent east coast. But the problem with drilling long and large tunnels below the bay and across the two fault zones is that there is no real precedent for such activities. However, this project is still at the initial stage of preparation. In March 2021, it was seen that the first section of the standard pipeline of the Dalian underwater tunnel project was connected correctly. In addition, due to the experience of building the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, many related bridge infrastructures can refer to the design plan. Economically, the Bohai Bay region generates half of its GDP from crude oil, steel, and minerals, and heavy industry is the region's main economic backbone. This is quite a lot in terms of logistics. Due to the lack of similar direct and handy channels, shipping in Bohai Bay has usually been a headache. In the future, after the completion of this undersea tunnel, the transportation performance can easily exceed 50%. The underwater tunnel in the Bohai Strait will certainly affect the underwater environment in Dalian and Yantai. Only good water control and other aspects of water management can make shipping more environmentally friendly. That's it for this one guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider liking it and sharing it with someone else who might enjoy it. Subscribe to our channel for more content like this and hit that bell icon if you never want to miss another video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.